Today we are up at Never Sink Mountain Preserve with our buddy Cosmo and our buddy Steve here today. And we're gonna show you some trails up at Never Sink, uh, get you a little more custom to the mountain. Get up there, check it out, and uh, help you make the most of your ride. So let's get going. Left cross the Bamba Bridges. So we're climbing up the Southern Double Track right now up to the lookout. A lot of these trails don't have official names. So I'm just gonna try and use the names on Trail Forks. If you haven't heard of Trail Forks, go check it out. It is one of the best mountain bike apps. So you can literally find trails from all over the world, plan rides. That is the Schuylkill River. This is actually called the Clapperthal Curve. The curve in the, in the river there. In this section, uh, next to the Schuylkill is called Poplar Neck. They found lots of uh, Indian artifacts back here. A lot of history tied to this area. Here we're at the chute. We'll be coming down this later. It's gotten pretty eroded. The Never Sink Railroad operated up here on this trail. And it was actually the first railroad powered by water in the country. Brought visitors from Philadelphia, New York to the many hotels that were up here none of which are still in existence. We're gonna stay to the right of this tree, continue up the path. A little muddy here. So we're gonna continue on the double track, but to the right is uh, the West Woodland area. And there's a couple trails up the hill here, which we're not getting to today. And there's a nice switchback to take you up there. So we're coming up to Sands Flow. There's a couple of rocks to help direct you back onto the trail. We're going to have Steve lead us. We are on Sands Flow, so just keep staying right here as you come down the trail. We're on the north double track, headed towards the quarry. And Steve just told us, Sans is French for without. So that trail is without flow, but I wouldn't say it's completely without flow. Okay, we're coming off the double track here. We're making a right at this double blue marked tree. This trail is called around the quarry. So here we are kind of standing on the north side of Neversink Mountain, north to uh, the other Reading Premier Mountain, which is Mount Penn. The pagoda, and you can make out the fire tower right behind that. Here's our little goat path up the quarry. So we just came down, I think it's called Green Emerald. Really fun section, we're back on the double track. So we just crossed over Never Sink Mountain Road, coming around the gate, and now we're following the service road up to the Wishes Hat. They called this the Radio Shack. That tower had a VOR beacon on it. Planes from Philly would home in on this to line up with the Reading Echo. Since retired because GPS took over. So we climbed up to the radio shack, radio tower. Now we're coming down to the witch's hat. So 
So this is the infamous witch's hat, also called McGilvin's Pavilion. There's a little plaque here tells you about it. So this was really part of a, a series of, of hotels and retreats that were on Never Sink years ago at the turn of the century. Now this one, this one survived. The city of Reading is down here and we're looking across uh, Mount Penn. The unique things about the area is you can mountain bike so close to an urban center like this. That's really unique about this area. So now we're headed up from the Witch's Hat back up to the radio tower. So we're going to cut behind the tower here. It's a little loose and there's a wire by your head you got to watch out for, so stay low. Nice. From the witch's hat coming down the rocky downhill, I believe it's called. Steve's gonna lead us down Bongo. In my opinion, one of the better runs on the mountain. Ooh, this rank is new. going to admit his age on camera. No. <laughs> That's a hard no. Whew. So we're climbing up towards Jack's Loop over the bridges here. And there's a couple of these cool signs talking about some of the history. We'll see remnants of some of this on our ride today. So we made a left off of Jack's Loop and we're heading up to the wine cellar. Okay, we're making a right, then over to Scott's Run. An old wine cellar that was here uh, when there used to be vineyards up on the mountain. And this was even before hotels. And from the outside, you'd never know that this is in here. Back up again, doing Scott's Run, heading to the second lookout. As we descend Scott's Run, we're going to lay out today's ride on Trail Forks. So we started at the Clapperthal parking lot, went up the Never Sink South Trail to the South Overlook. We continued up the double track, descended Sands Flow, uh, ended up on the North Face double track, made a right, climbed up the quarry trail around the quarry, descended down Green Emerald, back down onto the North Face double track. From there, we took the service road to the Witch's Hat, where we actually stopped up at the radio tower and descended down to the hat. Turned around, came back up to the tower, descended onto Promenade, made a right on the rocky downhill, another right on the station trail, down Blue Jay Way, down the backside to Bongo, onto the Cove Trail, up to the Upper Glen Trail, 
onto Jack's Loop, took the wine cellar trail back up to Sentinel Lane, where we came down Scott's Run, took that to Serpent's Tail, onto the White Dot Loop. That took us up to the upper lookout. There we descended the south side chute, back onto the south side double track. Made a right on Dippin' Dots, and followed that down to the Forest Hill Cemetery, where we made a right to follow down to the Exeter Scenic Trail, just to give you guys an idea um, of the other parking lot down here. It's a great warm up and cool down if you wanted to park there. And then we ascended back up to the Clapperthal lot. Let's get back to the trail. We make a right at the white dot here. Heading up to the upper lookout. This is part of the white dot loop. We're on the ridge up top. We're gonna get this one out of the trellis. Okay, I think I'm gonna try and chug up the top. <laughs> <laughs> That in. It's one of the better views you're going to find on the mountain. If you're coming up here to ride, highly advise you check this out. So we are right above the first lookout we came across early in our ride. All right, coming into the chute here. And you can take the direct line this way, but going wide and taking the, the, the S way is a little mellower. Still pretty techy. Yeah, Steve. So we are currently descending the south double track, which, which is the way we came up. And now we're gonna hit Dippin' Dots, which is gonna be on our right. If you're coming up the hill, Dippin' Dots would be on your left. Up the old cassette. A great trail, another Dane Clay special. Woo! Little two wheel drift. And it spits you back out to the Forest Hill Cemetery trail. Just for viewers' pleasure, we're gonna head down the forest trail here, the uh, cemetery trail, uh, down to a tunnel which connects to the Exeter Scenic River Trail. The loop we put together today combines many of the must-see views, landmarks, and trails up on Never Sink Mountain. There are plenty of other trails up here, so come out and explore. Part of the Gibraltar stretch on the Schuylkill. We're off the Exeter Scenic Trail right here. We're back at the Clapperthal lot. 
What did you think of the ride today, Steve? Oh, I love them. Great the, ride. Those techie features are fabulous. I love them. What did you think, Cosmo? Yeah, he's pretty satisfied. <laughs> Great ride today at Neversink. See you around.